Hey there, welcome to the Baldwins. We are going to show folks uh, how to bottle moose meat, uh, which is a home style method that is really useful for anybody that's interested in food security. Food security is a really, really important thing, particularly these days with all the things that are going on in the world. And certainly something that you could pass off to your kids or your grandchildren, something that they could uh, find very useful as well. Um, so we're going to just uh, cover some of the very basics and hopefully if you have some uh, moose meat that uh, you feel maybe uh, could be used for this sort of process, if it's a little older in the freezer, certainly something that uh, you could use instead of throwing it away, uh, which is something that we discourage, obviously. We want to use whatever game meat we acquire. And this is a really good way to uh, preserve it uh, for a little longer if you haven't had a chance to eat what was in your freezer. So uh, follow along and hopefully uh, learn a few things and uh, enjoy uh, the spoils afterwards. So first of all, it's really, really important to make sure that all your bottling jars, and your lids, and your equipment that you're going to be using for bottling is super clean. It's really, really important that they're washed and then we'll sterilize them afterwards before we actually start putting stuff in the bottles uh, for the bottling process. So I'm just gonna clean the equipment here now and then we'll move on to cutting up our product. Now we just wanna add them to boiling water just to sterilize the bottle that is. So make sure your knife is good and sharp and you're thawed out meat from the freezer. Get rid of all the little packaging. And of course we're getting a little bit chopped up here already. But just make sure that it's chopped up in bite-sized cubes. And uh, if there's any little bits of sinew and that kind of thing in it, that doesn't hurt. The bottling process will actually soften a lot of that up. Uh, I prefer not to have bone in the bottle. Some folks don't mind that, but uh, I cut the bone away. Try to get as much of the meat as you can, of course. Keep bone a little bit, make sure you get your Sharpener handy to you, and just in case you cut into the bone with a knife, because that'll dull the blade a little bit. And then just continue on until you get it all chopped up and ready for bottling in the bowl. We got all our moose cut up, and on a clean cutting board now, we're going to chop up some onion and, and some uh, smaller chunks and some salted meat as well. Next we're just gonna chop up in chunk sizes some salted beef or salt pork or some type of salted meat. Add to the to the bottles as well. All of our ingredients ready. Our chopped up moose meat, our chopped up onions, and our chopped up salted meat, which we took right from the package. And of course, it, uh, these two things, of course, add flavor uh, to the bottled meat itself, which is really really nice. So first thing we do is uh, use a, a funnel that we have that came with our bottling kit. 
And if you don't have one, that's fine. You just gotta be really careful not to get any uh, meat or anything on the rim of the bottle, because otherwise the seal might not uh, uh, seal properly on the lid itself. So we'll use our little funnel, throw a few onions, more onions and a piece of the salted meat, a couple pieces of salted meat, and then our chopped up moose meat, push it all the way down there. Just a little spatula or a fork or a knife, whatever you got there. Obviously, you want to make sure again that it's all sanitized, sterilized. All right, a few more pieces there. Go up as far as you can. Uh, you don't want to obviously go over the top of the lid. Careful when you're adding it. A few more onions. And another little piece of salted meat. I like to add three or four pieces of salted meat to each bottle. Again, that just brings it flavor in the bottle itself. Also, go like to top it off a little bit with uh, some uh, water just below the lid itself and just enough to cover up the, you know, the meat in the bottom. So I've also got our lids ready to go there. This is a, a seal for the lid itself. I got some boiling water here, and I don't want to leave the lid in there too long because it, it has a little uh, seal on it. I don't want it to, to soften or anything, so I'll just lay that seal right on top. And then I use the lid just to snug it down a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it, just over tighten it, sorry. You just want to snug it a little bit, and this bottle is now ready to go in the, uh, in the boiler. We're going to do the rest of our bottles and then we'll go right through the boiler. Alright, we have our prepared bottles. Let's go get everything here. Okay, let's go to the boiler. So we're just, uh, we're cooking outside or using inside, but you can do this just as easily on the stove in the house. All you want to do is just lay each bottle in. I already have some, I uh, have about an inch of water. In the bottom of this large boiling pot already. I just want to lay each bottle in. Actually, you don't want to do this at the end. Okay, in the beginning, but not at the end. <laughs> so lay all the bottles in, and uh, there's about an inch of water in the bottom here now. And usually, what I like to do is fill the Hot up so that the water is about halfway to three quarters up the side of the, uh, the bottle itself. So as long as the water is about up to here, you don't want to go over the top, but as long as it's about three quarters of the way up, I'll just top it off here. We need to get a little bit more water. It's pretty good thing is. I'll just add a little bit more. So the idea is to allow that water to come to a boil and then uh, let it boil for three hours once it starts boiling. Okay, we've had uh, three hours of, of boiling. Time to turn things off and uh, Take the bottles out. Hot stuff. This is the sound that we're listening for. As each of the bottles seal, they 
make that little pop. So now that we've given our bottles a chance to cool off, it's a good idea to mark your bottles or date them so you know how long they've been on the shelf for. And of course, anytime you want to open a bottle, you can eat it just as it is, or mix it with a stew or a soup. Very, very nice way to preserve moose meat.